Hello, everybody. Today is Thursday, May 23rd. It's 4.06 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can see my computer clock on my right. And on my left is the time in sales, the E-mini S&P at 4.06 p.m., currently trading at 28.19.75 or so. It was a really stellar day for the auto trader. Almost every chart I'm following was in the positive today, very much so. Many, many hit their goals. Really spectacular day for the auto trader. The first chart up here is the NASDAQ on an eight tick Superenco with the opening range filter and a fantastic trade right off the open. This hit its goal within 15 minutes of trading. I also have a video from my client that's been, that qualified for the combine and is doing some interesting work, uh, you know, showing live trading. So I'm probably going to break this video up into two parts because there's a, there's a lot to cover today. So I'm going to uh, show the video here and talk about that. This eight tick chart in the NASDAQ is a very small chart. If I scrunch up the bars and show you the whole session here, you can see all the swings. The number of opportunities here is quite a lot. It's, it's extreme. And so here's the entire day here. So almost the entire day uh, fits into the chart, but you can see what a small time frame this is by the number of swings on this chart. So there's just many, many, many opportunities here. Uh, interesting to see how the opening price uh, provides support and resistance right here at this level of uh, seven seventy three forty four approximately. My client is you know, trading on a Superenco six tick, which is even smaller. That's, that's you know, one point in the NASDAQ is four ticks. So that's one and a half points in the NASDAQ uh, per bar. And today's range in the NASDAQ looks like a high here of uh, 73.47 or so. Let's just say 73.45 and a low here of 72.66. So let's just say 72.65. Okay, so so that's 80 points the in the NASDAQ, NASDAQ, or 320 ticks. So you get the idea. A six tick in the NASDAQ is very, very small time frame. But it's interesting because it shows that the auto trader can be traded with smaller accounts on smaller time frames with smaller daily goals, you know, two to $300, and a smaller loss limit. So... What's developing here uh, is the that we're showing the auto trader is quite feasible for small accounts to trade on smaller time frames with uh, short profit targets, i.e. 10 ticks in the NASDAQ is only two points, and smaller daily loss limits. So interesting stuff. Before we get into the video, there's a couple of things I need to comment on. After watching the video, I had to come back and edit this because I realized that the comparison is really not apples to apples. The SIM account is using a stop order, and the live account is using a limit order, and you can see it by the looks of the trades on the chart. The SIM account is also taking every trade, as the client wanted to show, uh, the auto trader, if you just took every trade, both short and long, versus interacting with the auto trader. So just be aware that uh, the comparison is not apples to apples. Uh, you know, we continue to uh, collaborate on this and, and try to make uh, the videos and try to make our content as useful as possible. So in that regard, uh, take it for what it's worth. Uh, of note is that both the SIM account and his account the SIM account reached its goal, his actual goal. He stopped trading uh, just a little bit before, and that's fine. But both results were positive, and that's the important thing here. We're trying to demonstrate that you indeed can use a small account uh, for trading. So far, uh, as long as we're trading below 36, I think we might go substantially lower. So I think my auto trader is going to be on shorts only. Let's see how the day is going to turn out. Okay, let's see how we did. Let's start with a live account first. As I said, I was looking for shorts only. 
Um, and there was a first trade here, $90. Second trade was up to 140 And then uh, third and fourth trade, and it was up to 245 Then my phone began buzzing. There was a severe weather alert. So I turned the average trader off. I was afraid of internet um, interruption. By the time I came back, I really did not feel like uh, trading anymore. And very often, if I'm close enough to my goal, I'll just stop i don't push it and this way i have the rest of the day to myself so as you can see i was done by 10 to 10 so roughly 20 minutes um a bit short of my goal but good enough okay let's take a look at the uh sim account where the auto trader trades on its own longs and shorts according to the template rules the auto trader did hit its target actually with a couple of ticks of positive slippage uh, but it did it on 13 trades. So if we take a look, go back. Um, a loser, which drew down, I think, 125. A winner, a loser, was on the water for a while. Um, then came back. It just tends to do that. Came back and, and hit its target. Now, fair enough, I stopped when I was up 245 because I didn't feel like trading anymore. I would like to think... If I continue to trade, I would have hit the target as well, but I would have done it under 13 trades. Of course, there was no way of knowing, right? To be fair to me, though, this is my number one template. This is my ace. So, in, in effect, um, I'm going against my best. Okay, so uh, I'm going to break the video into two parts. Otherwise, it's going to be a really long video. And I'll just talk about this chart for a minute. Uh, the NASDAQ on a five-minute chart has a goal of 3,500 quite large, but uh, so it did about half of that, and there were two trades. There was this big winner here, and it made an equity high of 2,000, and then we drew down with this uh, losing trade here to uh, s finish at 1725. Okay, that's all for this uh, part of part one of uh, Thursday, May 23rd, 2019 video, uh, and I hope you will uh, watch part two.